OK, the last of these screen sections looking at OS maps is going to be looking at patterns and your ability to interpret patterns. This is something you are more than capable of doing because it's going back to a lesson we've looked at previously, which is looking at um, these ideas of describing patterns. There's three basic things you can be asked to describe. Vegetation patterns, land use patterns and communication patterns. Communications means road networks, means rail networks, anything which you can use to communicate with another group, basically. So, what can you be asked to look at? Well, the basics are, let's have a look at a couple of examples. So, first up, let's look at patterns of vegetation. Here we've got uh, a map which we've seen recently. Um, how would you go about describing the pattern of vegetation here? Well, first off, you've got mainly mixed woodland, um, and you can use the key to figure that out. Second thing, the woodland typically follows the, va the sides of the valleys. Um, third thing, there is a more dense patch of woodland to the northwest and a more dense patch to the southeast. In particular, you've got the national forest area around Dolfoig. OK, and I get that from the key and the purple outline which they've given to you to help with that. OK, um, just use place specific detail and make sure you're referring to the map. You can give grid references if you wanted to on this, so there is no reason why you can't be accurate. If your question says describe the pattern of vegetation for four marks, then you need to be making sure you're giving four points, including specific detail. So those are the key things to do for patterns of vegetation. Here's patterns of communication. Ignore the um, strange symbols on this, it's, a, it's where I got the map from. But the map has a large number of communications on it. First off, we've got main roads. Right, most of the main roads are located to the east. In particular, you've got the major A road, which is the green one, running from a north to south direction in the A130. And then coming off of that, you've got the A132 and the A1245. You've got several minor roads which crisscross the map, and then if you wanted to really develop and push their answer, there's another form of communication on here as well, and that's the railway lines. And you've got a railway line which runs past the north west of Battles Bridge in a north east southwest direction, and then you've got the railway which runs into Hockley, which curves around the south east of the map um, and runs for approximately six kilometres in that area. Now there's lots of different points you can make there but it's just about picking out those patterns of communication. Last but not least we've got patterns of land use. Patterns of land use allows you to refer to anything on the map. Um, one of the things you need to remember is these white areas aren't empty. There's not. It's not that there's nothing there. Very often that's farmland. So if I was to describe the pattern of land use here I can say that there is settlement in the north east of the map around Spinfield and then you've got a settlement around Hurley which is south of the river and you've got a settlement just north of the river which is focused on the A4155. All of the woodland is located in the north west of the map including Davenport Wood, Rasler Wood and Widefield Wood and then largely around the rivers, around the river you've got um, farmland including Temple Farm and low grounds farm, one uh, low grounds farm, and then there's also frog mill farm, which is in the southwest. Again, it's just about picking out anything you want it to be. If a question is worth four marks and patterns of land use, just make sure you make four points. If you do that, and you've given place specific reference, there is no reason why they can't give you the marks for this.